your MC for today, but not only that, we are the host for Digital Fashion Week Singapore for the third year running, so we're really pleased to be back here again. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, well, let us tell you a little bit about Digital Fashion Week. So this is held in collaboration with the British Council and is Asia's highest profile designer showcase. It takes place once a year in Singapore and now also in Bangkok in October, November and is the only fashion event that promotes the best young fashion designers through events and, of course, digital platforms. The theme for Digital Fashion Week Singapore 2014 is European Exchange, in line with its name. It aims to generate rich opportunities for fashion in Singapore by cross-fertilizing and creating robust connections between Singapore, Europe, and beyond. Now, this year, the world's oldest supermodel, Carmen Delotta Fice, will be gracing the event by walking the runway, donning apparel by Singaporean designer Max Tan. In yes, definitely, round of applause. <laughs> International guest designers Cristiano Barani, Piro Galan, will also be showcasing their latest collections, which are hot, off the runways of Milan and London Fashion Weeks which include looks created specifically for Digital Fashion Week. Now, some other international guests who will be attending the event include journalist Hilary Alexander, celebrity stylist Rebecca Roy, Jordan Miller, and Sheena Liam. The latest winners of America's and Asia's Next Top Models, respectively. So a round of applause for our highlights, everybody. Thank you. I'd like to invite a few of our very special, very important partners to share a little bit of their thoughts. First, uh, Mr. Roland Davies, Country Director of the British Council Singapore, please. Uh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to keep it very brief because, um, as you may guess, I know absolutely nothing about fashion. Uh, and I want to obviously make space for people who do know a lot about fashion. But we're very delighted to have you here, uh, your attendance here, to help us launch the Digital Fashion Week 2014. Uh, the British Council is very proud to be a founding collaborator of this event with our friends, our wonderful friends at DFW, um, Karina and Caius, and also my, my colleague Sarah from the British Council work extremely hard to put this event together. We worked very hard last year. Um, they are calm and collected on the outside, uh, panicking on the inside, but always impeccably dressed, and uh, congratulations to them on that. Uh, we started with British Exchange last year, and very pleased this year to extend that into European Exchange. Uh, next year there are plans for further internationalization, so we'll, we'll see where we go with that. Uh, it's great to be working especially with the Italian Cultural Institute this year. Uh, both London and Milan are the great powerhouses, capital cities of uh, fashion. But I was very disappointed um, to be upstaged by the Italians recently. Apparently they've invented or discovered the coldest or the coolest thing in the universe. And that's really, I don't know how Britain can compete with that. Um, DFW is a wonderful opportunity to shine a light on the design, the talent, the creativity of Singapore. And so far in DFW we've worked with more than 50 Singaporean designers and giving them the opportunity and the platform, the international exposure that I think they richly deserve. Our guests from the UK and elsewhere, bright lights in the fashion world, you've just heard um, some of them named, well they will further strengthen that international dimension. And it's these people, to people, conversations between Singapore and visitors from the UK, from Italy and from elsewhere, that is the real exchange that we expect over the next few days. So what we will see is people with a shared passion for fashion, coming together, talking about opportunities, about ideas, making friends, and that's at the very heart of what we in the British Council do, and it's what we call cultural relations. I hope you have a wonderful time over the next two days. Uh, happy viewing and uh, indeed happy shopping. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Veronica Manson, Director of Italian Cultural Institute. Thank you, thank you. It's a wonderful honor and a pleasure to be here to see also Italy participating for the first time in Digital Fashion Week Singapore European Exchange. 
we are really, really pleased. Of, of course, you know, when you think about uh, fashion, it's one of our, well, I would say, um, most uh, pleasurable um, aspects of our culture. And we're really glad that Cristiano Murani could be part of Digital Fashion Week and will be presenting next uh, week, next Monday, his collection for the very first time in Singapore. It's beautiful because, as the name says, it is a European exchange. That means really you're up and coming designers able to really meet their counterparts in Singapore and Southeast Asia. So really uh, creating an exchange in fashion and in beauty. So uh, we're really, really pleased also to have some speakers from uh, Milano, our, our capital of fashion. We have also Laura Bobone and Silvia Mazzucotelli. Um, they are from uh, Moda Cult, which is not called Milan, and actually one of the few uh, institutions in Italy that has already started a master in digital fashion. So we have the one chance and opportunity to hear them talk about it. So with no further ado, I think it's going to be a very intense and beautiful week full of fashion and interesting up-and-coming designers. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Manson. Uh, now I'd like to introduce the general manager of uh, Hotel Jen Orchard Gateway. Hi. Thank you. Uh, for us, it's uh, the first time we organize the event for a good reason. We've just been open one and a half months. So we could we have missed the first two. So we definitely. Uh, so like I said, we, we just opened the hotel one and a half months ago and even the hotel jet is a new plan, we just and we are the first one worldwide. So it's a it's a great pleasure uh, having this event with us. And uh, now I just want to tell you a few things about what is Jen. Who is Jen? So Jen is a virtual persona. Jen doesn't exist. The Jen likes it's a she. She likes to meet people, she likes to travel. She likes to uh, discover new places. And all the values and the brand, identity, is based on gen. We try to be, as well, very easy and efficient, having ingenious ideas. This is part of our values of gen. That's why when we are going to meet clients, that's definitely the experience is going to have. We definitely don't want to compromise in quality. Quality for us is very important. And uh, as, as you know, that especially in Singapore, the level of service is very high. Now, <coughs> sorry. what I would like to say is a great pleasure having you. I think definitely for these three days, and I was definitely meeting a client just uh, half an hour ago. So how great is it to join you to organize this kind of events? And she was really highlighting, and uh, definitely she will be here tomorrow for the for the launch of the ceremony. So thanks a lot, and uh, enjoy the three days with us. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to invite Ms. Karina Ojaya, the co-founder of Digital Fashion Week. Thank you guys. Thank you all of you for uh, sparing your time to come all the way here to support the local fashion designers. So, um, first and foremost, I want to uh, give a warm welcome to all our distinguished guests uh, and DFW insiders this year. It's a new addition to our Fashion Week. Thank you all. And having each one of you here today helps to provide deeper meaning to the cultural exchange we hope to achieve with our annual event. Themed European Exchange, this year's edition of Digital Fashion Week brings together our very own homegrown designers, together with Italian and British designers. In order to further this cultural, this cultural dialogue, we will also be focusing on educational and business aspects of fashion through the fashion talk session that we will be having. For the first time, we will be having our fashion talk se uh, session for our panelists to share their experiences in fashion industry. I would like to thank the British Council, Sarah, Roland, and also Italian Cultural Institu uh, Institute, Veronica Manson, uh, to actually take part with this digital fashion week this year. And uh, I could not be more happier uh, that we're actually having this uh, second year of our collaboration. And as progressive and dynamic fashion week, Digital Fashion Week is always seeking to improve ourselves. For the first time this year, apart from extending the scope of the cultural dialogue, we try to find innovative ways to present the fashion to you. This year we are bringing in 24 DFW insiders from all over uh, uh, Asian 
who collectively have an outreach for numbering of the millions. So thank you guys to actually extending this outreach for our local designers, giving them more exposure that we could not actually give in the first place. So um, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. So um, for this press conference of Vision Fashion, it would not be possible without the support from our sponsors, Hotel Gen. Thank you so much for hosting all our VIPs here. Orchard Gateway, The Body Shop for the Hair, and Label M, VG Water, and of course our Bangkok supporters, Siam Paragon and Siam Center and Bangkok International Fashion Week. To all our guests and participants of Vision Fashion Week, I hope that everyone has a fulfilling experience and don't forget to enjoy yourselves these four days. And of course, the extension of the bank off. Thank you so much. Sharina just mentioned about the influencers, so let me tell you a little bit more about that. So for the first time ever, Digital Fashion Week has chosen 24 top tier social, cities, social media influencers from nine countries to be their exclusive DFW Insiders for Digital Fashion Week, Singapore and Bangkok 2014. Given Digital Fashion Week's association with Digital Sphere, it's only fitting that they have chosen these social media influencers to be the representative digital celebrities. These 25 digital, fa 24, I think, <laughs> digital Fashion Week Insiders have been chosen for their impeccable style and unique fashion perspective and are valued by a large number of online community. Digital Fashion Week recognizes that these prominent social influencers are on steady rise to becoming Asia's top fashion icons and respect them for their vast social media outreach. Collectively, as Karina mentioned as well, these stylish icons have garnered more than seven million followers worldwide. And um, they are, First, Jen Im and Stephanie Vela from the US. <laughs> Olympia Lazardi from Indonesia. Millie Q from Taiwan. Laurie Wee, David Wieson and Kim Jones from the Philippines. Bao and Johnny from China. Mana and Ashley from Malaysia. Willa Bell Ong and Chloe Ting from Australia. Bell Mantikan from Thailand. Violin Tan, Jessica Tam, Jane Tam, Melody Tan, Hosanna Sui, Amanda Leon, Irina Tan, Valerie Lim, Peggy Chang, and Nelly Lim from Singapore. guys aren't already following them you should right now these guys know exactly what's in fashion and what's hot so thank you so much once again guys for being here another round of applause for our DFW insiders well I think it's time now to introduce some of our local Singaporean designers and the local design scene is proving to be a force to be reckoned with and attendees of DFW SG will be the first to view the latest spring summer 2015 collections of established and up-and-coming designers. And at the catwalk space, local designer Max Tan will open the Fashion Week. And the work of the following designers and labels can also be previewed at Digital Fashion Week. They are In Good Company, Yu Yu, Pauline Ning, Thomas Wee, Depression, CYC, and Mashup. Round of applause for our local designers. The attendees of DFWSG will also get a chance to check out the designers of Amos and Anda, Era Aura, Feist Heiss, Kei Hana, Noel Caleb, Sundays, Yesa, and Yuki Mitsuyasu at the showroom space. Alright, so let's hear from some of our local designers and how they feel about this year's event. So we would like to invite up on stage Max Tan and Linda Hap. Hi Max, hi Linda. Okay, let's start with questioning Max first. Okay, uh, this is your second time participating in Digital Fashion Week. What do you think is going to be different this year? Well, I think what is most different to me this year is to have Carmen walk my show. It's a really exciting experience and I've just met her this morning and it was a truly humbling experience for me. 
I can enlighten and Linda. Yeah, so Linda, what um, can you sort of give us a bit of a preview as to what people can expect from your collection that you'll be showcasing here at Digital Fashion Week Singapore? That's so okay. <laughs> Okay, I think um, the most interesting part is that um, the showroom space is like a surprise unveil and it's my first time joining Digital Fashion Week so I'm actually really excited to have like this pop-up space of my own brand in the showroom and everyone who come in to watch the show will actually get the experience of walking through all the designers so I hope everyone will actually look through all the designers work as well at the showroom space and it's actually going to be for all the days so everyone can get a chance to view the collections. Yep. Thank you. Um, your question for Max. Apart from Carmen walking uh, your show, what made you decide to participate uh, again in Digital Fashion Week this year? I think the energy of the DFW team is really great and Woo! so... <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a group of young people coming together and the support of Singaporean designers that, that really touched me. Yeah, so um, I think we're going to have a really long working relationship with her. Thank you, Max. And uh, Linda, so a couple of years ago for the inaugural Digital Fashion Week back in, I think it was 2012, right? Yeah. Um, you were actually on the other side of the fence. You interviewed Warpe. Um So you have been involved with Digital Fashion Week for a couple of years now. Um, but can you tell us what you're looking forward to um, about Digital Fashion Week Bangkok? Oh, um, I'm actually really excited about that one because that will actually be the first runway that I will see my designs on models walking down. So I hope that it will be a really memorable experience and i really like to thank Digital Fashion Week for also giving me this opportunity to actually showcase my collection on the models. So I'm really excited for that and I hope everyone can also catch the Bangkok Fashion Week as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much guys. Looking forward to seeing all your designs. Thank you. And apart from the fashion, uh, from the fashion showcase and the shows, uh, Digital Fashion Week already started with different activities and one of them was a t-shirt launch collaboration um, at Orchard Gateway. Um, you know, we're talking about fashion and most people think fashion is uh, quite superficial, but on the contrary, uh, who says fashion can't be used as a force for good? Uh, actually, nine of our local designers, including Depression, Kay Hana, Matt Shop, um, Max Tan, Pauline Neng, Sundays, Yesa, Yu Yu, and Yuki Matsuyasu have worked together to launch a collection of t-shirts that best represent their individual brand. But that's not all. The initiative was launched with the aim of increasing awareness for AIDS and to give exposure to the designers at the same time. Generating excitement for Digital Fashion Week Singapore, among media, industry influencers, and public ahead of the fashion extravaganza that's about to begin. The collection of t-shirts was launched with a party at Orchard Gateway, along with a fashion presentation at the Tube on the 2nd of October. If you like to support the cause and you like the t-shirts, which we're sure you will, the t-shirts are now available for purchase on Inverted Edge, our official e-commerce platform. Well, the who's who of the fashion world will also be in town to grace DFWSG, and they include international guest designers Cristiano Burani, Theodore Golan, Hilary Alexander, the much uh, respected British journalist and fashion director of the Daily Telegraph, as well as British celebrity fashion stylist Rebecca Roy. And we also have Dr. Sylvia Matu Cotelli and also Dr. Laura Bavon of Murdercult, who will also share their knowledge and expertise during the Fashion Talk session, which is held on November 3rd, 2014, at the National Design Center. Sheena, <laughs> Sheena Liam and Jordan Miller, who are the winners of the latest seasons of Asia's Next Top Model and America's Next Top Model, respectively, will also be seen on the runways of Digital Fashion Week Singapore. So, I think it's time to speak to some of our VIPs. We would now like to introduce Fido Golan. Welcome guys, I hope you're not very 
Norwegians are flagged. <laughs> happy to be invited. We actually got the invitation the next day following our London Fashion Week show. Um, we wanted to come to Singapore for a long time. Uh, we love Asia in general. Um, we took the opportunity and also traveled a little bit through China, uh, Beijing, Shanghai and Hong Kong. So we had an incredible time in the last two weeks. Um, we're also really excited being in this part of the world. We're starting to work exclusively with Lane Crawford in China and Hong Kong. So it was really nice going and, and meeting the teams and um, kind of seeing how we as British designers come into Asia. And um, really, really happy to have our show here. That's great. So you're mixing business and pleasure at the same time. Always, always. <laughs> That's the only way we get pleasure, is if we put some business in. <laughs> Excellent. Um, another uh, question about your collection. Your latest spring-summer uh, collection, which you showed at London Fashion Week, you described it as digital romanticism. And you are showing it at Digital Fashion Week. So how does the digital aspect play a part in your um, uh, work as designers? Well, um, first of all, we're a part of today's world that is becoming um, more and more uh, digital savvy, um, more um, kind of, we're all living our lives through our phones, our pads, our computers, TVs. Um, as designers, we felt that the visual language is changing and people's perspective of beauty and color and movement is completely changing. We're so accustomed to seeing colors through the screens that sometimes, you know, we can flip through Instagram and then lift up our heads and everything looks so gray and, and sad suddenly after seeing all those pictures no being... No filters, yeah. Yeah, no filters, no Photoshop, no... Um, no saturation. Um, so we were kind of uh, really excited about experimenting with textiles, um, how we bring colors to the next level, worked a lot with um, silicone finishes, iridescent, um, foiling to cottons. Um, we've weaved satins with plastic thread and then printed a digital print on the, on the plastic threads to kind of give it that digital effect. Um, I think all of that feeling we try to encompass in the collection would work well in digital fashion. Looking forward to see your collection on the catwalk. Well, Fyodor didn't speak. Yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> would you like to <laughs> add anything? Yes, I have. Um, so I'm going to ask you how are you feeling about being here in Asia? Asia is very inspiring and uh, it's very contrasting as well and, and it's, it's been a huge research trip for us to see what the people wear and what's the design, the architecture is incredible and I love the combination in Singapore of the nature and, and the buildings, it's very unique to me and uh, I'm looking forward to how, see how it's developed in our mind. How about uh, the other showing designers here at Digital Fashion Week? Is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to seeing? Um, for me, it's all about discovery now. And uh, I actually met uh, a couple of designers, and I'm looking forward to see the show. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. Yeah. Well, it should be an amazing Fashion Week. We're super excited to have you, so thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Introducing America's next top model winner, Jordan Miller. Hello. Okay, so first things first, congratulations. Thank you. And um, what is it in particular that made you want to walk in Digital Fashion Week Singapore? 
Honestly, I just love runway, and I love the, you know, the, the collaboration of Fashion Week itself. All over the world is so different. So when they approached me and asked me if I would walk for DFW, I said yes, of course, why not? So you know, I'm really honored to be here, and I can't wait to start that runway tomorrow. We can't wait to see you. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little bit how you came to be America's Next Top Model winner. Um, you weren't in the bottom two. How, how did that happen? How did you escape? Um, Tyra and, you know, everyone, Tyra Banks. I have no idea, to be honest. It was uh, a lot of luck, I think, on my side, but really just being focused and knowing what I was there for. I wasn't there to make friends and, you know, kind of build relationships. I was there to win. So um, it was very tough to be able to balance out your friendships with people and then go into panel and they leave the next week because they're eliminated. And we'll have to say, Every single panel I did, I was like, please don't send me home. <laughs> you know, I just, I was so nervous every single time, but, you know, I just got lucky and we never made it into the bottom two. So, and I don't even know what it feels like to be in the bottom two, which would, would have been terrifying, yeah. but, you know, I pulled through. Yeah, amazing. And how does it feel to be here in a fashion week that also has the world's oldest working supermodel come and Delora Fiche? Oh my gosh, I'm like, fangirling over here a little bit like as soon as I found out that she was coming I just started freaking out in a good way you know um, I just think it's such an honor to be around someone who's been doing this their entire life and to you know reach out and possibly get some advice from her and see how she's been able to do it for so long yeah definitely hopefully you can have the same longevity yeah. in your career as well and um, I guess you've also been on the cover of some Malaysian magazines, is that right? Um, I've seen uh, you were here with Cleo and um, August Man. So I guess, how is it feeling to be here in Asia? I love Asia, I don't want to leave. Um, if, I, if I had it my way, I would move out here and just you know work out here because back home in America, it's a little bit of a different situation. And um, I feel here, you know, I just crave the just the difference, you know. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> yeah, stay with us. Um, okay, so now it's time to introduce Asia's Next Top Model winner, Sheena Liam. Absolutely skyrocketed. You've signed with Storm in London and you're based there at the moment. How is that going for you? Oh, it's amazing. Um, I got to work London Fashion Week, which is something you only dream about and you never actually think you could do. So it's amazing. And now you're representing me worldwide as a mother agency. <laughs> and um, how are you feeling about being here for Digital Fashion Week Singapore? amongst, you know, all these amazing VIPs and highlights? Um, I still get really flustered because, you know, I'm sitting next to Jordan Miller, <laughs> who I've only seen on TV. And I haven't walked a lot of fashion weeks in Asia, so this is, um, this is new. And how important do you think that the digital aspect is to fashion? I mean, we're seeing a massive rise um, with Instagram, we've got all our DFW insiders over here as well. What's your take on the whole digital world? I think social media has a lot of influence on our value as um, even products and people. Um, me and Jordan, we have a lot of followers. And it increases our value to like brands when they choose to use us. Yeah. But it must be, um, I guess, in these days, you don't sort of need necessarily like a professional photographer to sort of be able to do sort of modeling pictures or have high quality pictures. So do you think that the digital aspect, um, you know, is actually something that is a really positive thing that a lot of other people can sort of, you know, put themselves out there and, you know, have beautiful pictures as well? Yeah, definitely. It opens a lot of doors to other people and a lot of bloggers you know, they're capitalizing on this social media, you know, the rise of social media and digital fashion because it's amazing. Yeah, 
Uh, well, we're really happy to have both of you ladies here, and we're really looking forward to seeing you on the catwalk. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The model who has transcended generations to prove age is just a number when it comes to beauty. Please welcome Carmen Delorofice. later Vogue photographed me and I was eminently photogenic all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, and how do you classify stereotypes in the modeling world which glorifies youth? How do I what? How do you define <laughs> stereotypes? How do you define stereotypes? How do I decide? Define. Define? Define. define. Sorry, excuse my accent. Sorry, um, excuse my... I'm a little part of you, <laughs> but I'm allowed at my, my age. Okay. Um, how do you defy stereotypes um, in a modeling world which glorifies beauty, is glorifies um, being young, basically? The younger, the better, most of the time. Well, I don't. The industry does. Uh, that's how it is. Uh, particularly in the United States, uh, we have a, a thing about youth. Uh, I wish they had a, a, a real uh, attention to youth the right way and educate our children, which we're not really doing well enough. And uh, uh, I'm still working and standing uh, because America is growing older with me. So they finally, uh, you know, I've, I've been standing up for, for my age all my life, and now they're catching up with me. So I feel rather like the Pied Piper. <laughs> I read somewhere that you described yourself as the Meryl Streep of modeling. Can you uh, elaborate on that for us? Well, it is, um, of course, it's a little, I don't mean to sound arrogant making that analogy, but I, I, I greatly admire the lady because of her diverse, her, her ability uh, to do diverse roles and uh, uh, not in it for the glamour, but to tell a story. And I'm in my profession to tell the story of the designer the fashion editor's idea. It may not necessarily be what I pick for myself personally, but that's being a silent actress, and that's what my profession is all about. Uh, rent a body, you say? Yes. <laughs> rent a body. <laughs> <laughs> Modeling also is a very demanding profession. Uh, so, what's the secret behind your energy and stamina? taking good care of myself uh, after the acknowledgement of my mother and father's genes. I just lucked out and paid attention to what the universe gave me, and I just never abused what, the gift of life and energy, and I just live out my genetic code as, as long as I can, and have as much fun as I can, as, as long as it's not at someone else's expense. And um, you've had such a long, illustrious career. I'm sure there are many moments that stand out to you, but are there any highlights that you can share with us? Oh, um, well, it, I certainly have to say, the first time I was thrilled, uh, I had already been working since I was 13. I was 19 when, um, 
Stanley Marcus handpicked me to be one of his models he sent around the world. And those were in the days of propeller planes. And it took three days to get to Australia. But it was my, it was my first trip around the world. And I had, uh, I was, it was like being on a, on a special magic carpet because all the work, all the booking of tickets, all the hotels, uh, and, and I felt like uh, uh, very lucky, that's all I can say. And you used to take a ride roller, roller skates to go to job sometimes to save money on the bus fare. Of course. <laughs> so we were very, very poor, and if you took Coca-Cola bottles back, you got two cents, and if you got enough you know, in, in the garbage you've got. If you got enough of them, you really, you know, could do very well. So nobody thinks of me as, as a, somebody, you know, whoever went into the garbage, uh, but it just made sense. And of course, it wasn't thought of, uh, you know, very badly in those days, but. We certainly, uh, <laughs> not what you're today. <laughs> We certainly live in a very different world uh, right now, yes. and digital is taking over, and it's mostly associated with the younger generation. So what made you decide to be part of digital fashion? Because I was invited, and I was very flattered. <laughs> and I looked, I looked, believe it or not, even though I'm 83, I do have a Mac computer, so I went and I Googled <laughs> Mac's can. And I just loved that somebody that young was also, uh, I loved his designs, and that he is a businessman also. He, had, he was advanced enough, this is before I met the gentleman, who was adorable. He's just the <laughs> sweetest person, I love him. And uh, I thought, what a smart young man. Somebody thinks enough of him to have gotten him out there and sell, uh, sell him in other areas, in other countries. And I thought, you know, I, I, he's invited me and I respect how far he's come, he's so young, and I was not wrong. So, it's kind of like a blind date. You know? <laughs> as long as it's a good date. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carmen, for being here. We really, really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, well, um, we should mention that, um, in fact, we do have some people watching us. You guys don't realize this, but we have a Digital Fashion Week's uh, Bangkok team that are observing us right now, aren't they? Um, Karina, if you wouldn't mind just coming back on stage just to tell the audience a little bit about Digital Fashion Week Bangkok, which is new this year. Hi, uh, Sam Paragon. Hi, Bangkok. <laughs> Hi, Bangkok International Fashion Week. So we're actually being watched and it's live in Bangkok. So this year, uh, again, we are, we are creating this platform of Digital Fashion Week to support each individual uh, respective country's designer. So Digital Fashion Week Singapore uh, was born to introduce and support the Singaporean designers. So that's the concepts of Digital Fashion Week Bangkok to support the Thai designers. So Bangkok International Fashion Week has been around for 10 years and this is the first time they've gone totally digital and that's where we've got DFW insiders as well to create uh, and, and rise up the pro our profile of all these designers. So I guess we, we um, will have a short presentation of our, of our local designers that, be, that will be watched by uh, Bangkok um, viewers, so I hope um, they can enjoy it. So, yeah. thank you, Karina. And now let's introduce the designers participating in Digital Fashion Week Singapore. We have uh, Thomas Wee, Pauline Ning, Max Tan, Lisa, Matches and Fashion. Enjoy the showcase. The chance of a youngster hitting a big campaign and major money is very, very small. If, if they're lucky enough to 
get a toehold and have a few jobs and do it well, understand their body and, and what, their, what clothes suit them and have the luck of good editorial pages and make a little bit of money up front, save it. Don't go out and buy the outfit you're being photographed in because you don't need it. You're not gonna want it. You're not gonna be able to resell it. And of course, I, 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 I take it for granted that this generation is smart enough to know no drugs, don't drink, you know, sleep, uh, keep your education going. Uh, education isn't necessarily uh, going to college. It's paying attention and being uh, uh, attentive to the, the environment you find yourself in. Uh, don't suffer fools. No, you don't have to tell them who they are. Just know who everybody is and believe in yourself and, and work and enjoy it. Work is not a dirty word, and it's a lifelong uh, adventure to know oneself. We're the actor, the director, the writer, uh, uh, the script of our life. And, and you, if you don't enjoy doing it, change the script. What can I say? And if you're lucky enough to have parents, honor them stay close to them because they're the ones who really care what happens to you but not everyone is lucky enough to have two parents common will you ever retire will you ever retire i retire every evening <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, people say uh well are you going to keep on working and I, I keep I, my other answer is am I going to keep on breathing I mean it's if if you're in the right slot in life for, for yourself whatever it is you do if, if you if I'm scrubbing floors believe me it's the best scrub floor you, you've ever come across you know it's you, I give myself wholeheartedly to any endeavor I, I'm engaged in good on you <laughs> again and now we'd like